but there's a new acai bar downstairs. Want to try? Sorry, can't. Why? Oh, Hui Hong. Are you abandoning me because you want to rush home to wait for your boyfriend's call? You know, it's overseas, right? Mm. Long distance relationship need effort to maintain. Oh, so serious. Wait, I thought you guys only just met? Mm. 27 days and 17 hours. <laughs> but it feels like I've known him forever, you get what I mean? Mm. Like he's my... Soulmate? Yes. <laughs> Alright, got to go. See mm. you next week. Bye. <gasps> Remember to intro him to me when he comes to Singapore. For sure. Mm. Bye-bye. Bye. Morning. Morning Ma'am, ma the victim's name is Wong Hui Hong. She says she got scammed by someone named Edward. Edward on this dating website. He told me he was a US citizen and we started dating a month ago. In person? No. Online. He told me he was too busy to come to Singapore because of work. And how did the two of you communicate? We are in different time zones, so it's not convenient for us to call each other. When he's free, I'm at work. When I'm free, he's at work. So what made you think this is an internet love scam? About a week ago, Edward asked me to lend him $100,000 for his business. Did he say why? He said his bank account was frozen and his credit card had maxed out. But it was coming to the end of the month and he needed to pay his workers. Did he say why his bank account got frozen? He said there was some misunderstanding with his bank, which was being resolved. And then what happened? I was okay to help him, but I wasn't very comfortable with doing such a large fund transfer. So, he asked me to contact his business associate in Singapore to give it to her instead. Do you still have the receipt? Mm. Yes. Okay, and then what happened? A few days ago, Edward asked me to lend him some more money. How much? 42000 Did he say why? He said he needed it to open a priority banking account in Malaysia. Then he could apply a grant for his business there. Then when his business get established, he could come over to Singapore to marry me. Did you give him the money? I told him I really lent him all my savings. I even borrowed money from my family. But after that, he just stopped replying to all my texts. Then what did you do? I tried to contact Foyana Sahaili since she was his business associate in Singapore. But her phone number isn't working anymore. Besides her number, do you have any other way to reach Foyana Sahaili? No. Do you have any photos or images of her? No. Can you describe what she looks like? She's a tall Malay woman, maybe in her 30s, with long hair. I'll need both Edward and Fiona Sohaili's numbers and any other details that you have of them. Okay. Will I get back my money? We will trace the funds transfer and try to claw back as much as we can. 
But based on previous cases, once money has been transferred to a scammer, the probability of getting it back is low. But I couldn't trace Edward on the dating site. How about Fuyana Suhaili's contact number? It belongs to a foreigner who has since left the country, and preliminary investigation shows that no such person known as Fuyana Suhaili exists. It's probably an alias. That's what I figured. So we have no leads on either Edward or his accomplice. Fuyana Suhaili? Yes. Why? The name sounds familiar. Ah, uh, yesterday I interviewed a victim, Marlene Sim. It was also an internet love scam case. I met James through this messaging app. He told me he was an ABC. ABC? American-born Chinese. We started texting, then after about three weeks of dating, he told me he sent me a gift. I was so excited. What was the gift? He said it was jewellery. And then what happened? Then I got a call from a courier company. They told me I had to send $2,000 for import fees. They gave me an Ocean Bank account to transfer the money to. And did you transfer the money? Yes. But after that, I got another call from the courier company. They asked for another $9,000 because they said that jewellery has higher import fees. That's when I realised it was a scam. Okay, Miss Sim. I'll need the bank account that you made the transfer to. When I checked the Ocean Bank account, it belonged to a Suhaili Binte Suparjo. Fuyana Suhaili and Suhaili Binti Suparjo. Did you run a check on Suhaili Binti Suparjo? Yes. She's currently unemployed, no priors. Ocean Bank said they would get back to me about the account's transaction history. In the meantime, I told them to freeze her account. Have you asked Suhaili Binti Suparjo down for an interview? Yes. It's scheduled for tomorrow. The police called me down for an interview. Suhaili, sweetheart, relax. When do you have to go down? Tomorrow. And they froze my Ocean Bank account too. The one I'm using for my business? Yes. Don't worry. How not to worry? Why am I supposed to tell the police? We've known each other for two years. Don't you trust me? Yes. I'll tell you exactly what to say. You won't get into trouble. You promise? I promise. Just follow my instructions. Okay. Don't mention me or tell the police that I use your Ocean Bank account for my business. This is very important or else my company will get into trouble, okay? Fine. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. You know I love you and I won't let anything happen to you, right? But I don't understand. Why has my Ocean Bank account been frozen? We suspect it may have been compromised. A scam case was reported recently where the victim was told to deposit $2,000 into an Ocean Bank account. Your Ocean Bank account. But I don't know anything about this deposit. It's your bank account. How can you not know that $2,000 was deposited into it? Because I only withdraw money to support my family. I don't keep track of how much is deposited. Madam Sohaili, our records show that you are unemployed. So where does this money to support your family come from? A family friend has been very kind to us. She knows of my family situation and she transfers money to my account to help us. Who is this family friend? Her name is Monica Liu. She lives in Macau. That's why she can only do money transfers. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for coming down. Just a word of advice, Madam Suhaili. You shouldn't let anyone have access or control your personal bank account. Not even your family members or someone you trust. You have to be very careful. Because if your bank account is being used for illegal activities, you could be held criminally liable for it. Even if it's someone else who committed a crime. Team, any updates? Ocean Bank got back to me about Suhaili Suparjo's bank account. They've confirmed that there have been transaction inflows and outflows amounting to a total of $196,000 over the past three months. It's a lot of money. Shay, check with the other local banks. See if Suhaili Suparjo has any bank accounts with them. Yes, ma'am. How did the interview with Suhaili Suparjo go? 
we may have a lead. Check with Interpol to see if they have anything on a Monica Liu. Who is she? According to Suhaili, a family friend who lives in Macau. So Hailey claims that Monica has been helping her financially. Actually, there is one person who can tell us if Suhaili Suparjo and Puyana Suhaili are the same person. Why did the police say that my Ocean Bank account was involved in a scam? It's probably an unhappy customer. You know what they're like. They probably made the police report to cause trouble for my business. So what's going to happen now? I'll settle it with the customer. Ask them to withdraw the police report. Then the police will stop investigating. What about my other bank accounts? Will your customers also make police reports about them? Look, I'll tell my other business partners to check if any other customers have made complaints. They're the ones using the other accounts. Everything is going to be fine, sweetheart. You know I love you, right? Ma'am, Interpol has gotten back. Does Monica Liu exist? Yes, but it turns out she's a love scam victim and she made a police report in Macau. So it's a transnational internet love scam syndicate. I checked with the local banks. Other than Ocean Bank, Suhaili Suparjo has three other accounts that have seen lots of transactions. These are the total amounts that have been transacted in each bank over the last three months. Did you manage to check where the money came from? Preliminary investigations show that most of the money came from the other internet love scam victims that have filed police reports. Do you think Suhaili Suparjo could be a member of this love scam syndicate? Or could she be letting others use her payment accounts? It's too early to say. How did the photo lineup go with Hui Hong? Please identify the person you met and gave $100,000 to at the cafe. She identified Suhaili Supajo as the person she met. I think it's time to get Suhaili Supajo down for another chat. The police called. They want to interview me again. Did they say why? They said they needed to verify some facts with me. But what if they've discovered that I flagged to them earlier? Don't jump to conclusions. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. On top of your Ocean Bank account, we found three other bank accounts under your name. All of them have seen large transacted values over the last three months. Can you explain? Whatever you do, don't tell the police they've been withdrawing and collecting money from my business. Another lie? How many times do you want me to lie to the police? Sweetheart, this is the last time. I promise. That's what you said the last time. Sweetheart, you know I love you, right? My boyfriend and his business partners use my bank accounts for the business. What sort of business? I don't know. He never told me and I never asked. Our investigations show that the money in your four bank accounts came from internet love scam victims. And one victim identified you as the person who collected $100,000 from her. And you signed the receipt as Fuyana Suhaili. Was the internet love scam your idea? No. I didn't scam anyone. All I did was to allow my boyfriend and his business partners to use my account for their business. Are you sure that's all you did? Sometimes... Sometimes I... will collect or withdraw money for him. Then, I would travel to his home in KL to give it to him. What's his name? Aolola Oladayo Opeyemi. Our suspect is Aolola Oladayo Opeyemi. We believe he is the ringleader of a transnational internet love scam syndicate. Investigation shows that he entered Malaysia on a study visa. We have been surveilling the suspect since yesterday. This is his residence. We have men covering all the escape routes and already informed the building management of upcoming operation and gotten their cooperation for the arrest. A 
Are you our lola lola dari OPM ni? Yes. Please step forward, sir. I'm Inspector Kai from the Royal Military Police. You under arrest for receiving benefits from criminal conduct. Call him. A laptop and mobile phone were found in your possession. Your laptop shows several Friends With Me accounts under different names and pictures. There are accounts for Edward, James, Gabriel, Brian. Who are they? Keeping silent isn't going to help you. Your mobile phone has already given you away. It shows text messages between the Friends With Me account and internet love scam victims. They show you catfishing victims and asking them to transfer money to several Singapore bank accounts. What do you have to say? They were in search of love and romance, so I targeted them. What did Swaili do for your operation? She collected money from victims and brought them to me in Malaysia. Was she the only one you recruited? No. There's another woman, Farida. When did you recruit Farida? About two months ago. It was just business. Just business? You took advantage of all these innocent women and scammed them. They needed love, so it was an exchange. I tell them I love them, and they let me use their bank accounts for my purposes. In the case you've just seen, our Lola Oladayo Opeyemi was a member of a transnational love scam syndicate that spun an elaborate web of lies to gain their victims' trust. Ultimately, eight victims were cheated of over half a million dollars. Opeyemi also made use of money mules to commit his offences. A money mule is someone who allows criminals to control their bank or other payment account, or someone who uses his account to receive or transfer monies under the criminal's instructions. Thanks to the determination of officers from the Anti-Scan Command, as well as close collaboration with the Royal Malaysia Police, the accused was arrested even though he was outside of Singapore's jurisdiction. This swift action prevented more victims from being cheated. Between 2020 and 2022, scammers used over 19,000 money mules and 38,000 bank accounts to launder money. Singpass accounts were also abused for criminal acts. To combat scams and the movement of criminal proceeds, as well as the abuse of Singpass, amendments were made in 2023 to toughen penalties under the Corruption, Drug Trafficking and Other Serious Crimes Act and the Computer Misuse Act. Remember, our payment accounts and Singpass account are for our own use only. You may be held criminally liable if they are used by others for criminal activities. Those convicted of these offences can be jailed for up to three to five years and fined up to $10,000 to $250,000. In a credit for sex scam, scammers take on fake identities on social media platforms to cheat victims of money. In 2022, 626 victims fell prey to credit for sex scams and lost $2.1 million. Today, we're going to the secret headquarters of the Agents of Scam to learn about just how these scammers work and how we can protect ourselves against them. Agents of Scam, are you ready for your next mission? Yeah! Good, good. Today, we're going to focus on credit for sex scams. You're going to learn how to do it properly, how to avoid common mistakes, and most importantly, how to scam your victims of their money. money. That's right. So first of all, you go to a social media platform like WeChat. Then, you change your profile picture to that of a sweet young thing like this. But I don't look like that. Silly boy! Of course you don't. That's why it's called a scam. You want your victims to think that you look like that. Oh, so the prettier the picture, the better? You're learning fast. Next, you gain their trust and ask them for money as proof of their love. So, they pay us after that? No, no, no. They're supposed to pay you before that. This is a scam, remember? Ask them to take a photo of their gift card with the code and send it to you. 
Then, you give them a location to meet you at. But what location do we give? The agent of Scam Headquarters? Doesn't matter, but don't give them this address. You're not going to meet up with them anyway. You're going to continue scamming them the money by telling them you love them. So, we never meet up with them? Correct! And they want to meet up with us because they think we look like one of those attractive people? That's right! Now go forth and scam your victims! <laughs> Can you protect yourselves against credit for sex scams? You can act against scams. ACT, at, check, tell. These three simple steps can keep your money safe and protect you from scams. Add, add the Scam Shield app and security features such as enable two-factor or multi-factor authentication for banks and set transaction limits on internet banking transactions, including PayNow. Scam Shield keeps a record of known scam numbers. So, if a scammer calls you, the app is able to automatically detect and block it, preventing the scammer from targeting you. Check. Check for scam signs when someone starts professing his or her love shortly after making contact with you and asks you for money. Tell. Tell your friends about the scam. If you suspect the profile is a scammer, tell the authorities and report it to the social media platform. If you need advice, you can also call the National Crime Prevention Council Anti-Scam Helpline or visit its website. Remember, together we can act against scams. We have come to the end of this season of Crime Watch. This year, we have highlighted actual police cases that show how our dedicated police officers help to safeguard every day. We've also shared how you can prevent yourself and others from falling victim to different types of crime, such as scams. Together, we can keep Singapore safe and secure. I'm DSP Asfa Khan. Until next time, do your part to prevent, deter and detect crimes.